Hi guys, this is Ida. I have a uh, project share and I was actually going to do a small tutorial and I've already recorded this guys twice and wasn't able to rotate my video so every time I start one and that not finish it so I can share it with you guys my videos don't upload right so I give up but I'm gonna show you what I created and hopefully I can walk you through it I created these butterflies you guys using the Tim Holtz um, Hold on, I have them right here. There's a couple of things I use to create these. I use these Tim Holtz butterflies, and they come with four dies. So it's the two filigree pieces and the two shadow solid pieces. And it, they do emboss. So I use this, guys, and I also use this, um, this one by Hot Off The Press. My friend Carolyn gifted this to me when we were in a swap, and this actually has the stamps that go to it. But I was looking for like a uh, some type of filigree to mimic the flight of the butterfly. So this fit the bill. So I used this for that. So here's what I created, you guys, using the Prima Amber Moon paper. And um, I used that to cut out the first uh, solid butterflies. And then I used the just a 110-pound black cardstock to do the filigree piece. And it cut it out beautifully, you guys. I didn't have any trouble. And then I used the Glitterific, you guys, in the uh, cinnamon color, this one. And this is what I used to put on the wings because I knew it was going to stand out dramatically on the black. So that's what I did. To create the bodies, you guys, I used these copper wire, the copper wire right here. And I threaded a mix of some beads through it. I kind of folded it up in a U. And I think I I cut it like four and a half inches long and folded it like a U and threaded uh, as many beads as I wanted on the body and then kind of closed the end where I had uh, folded it like a U. I kind of squeezed that end together so the beads wouldn't slide to the bottom. And I just slid it in between. Um, let me show you with this one right here. And I just kind of slid it in between the bead part was on top and the wire part was on the bottom of the body of the butterfly and um and after i did that i kind of took the 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 piece of wire that was hanging out to the front like that with the beads in it and folded it back and then i gave it a twist you guys that's all i did and like i said i recorded this already twice so i'm not going to do it again uh because for some reason my phone's acting up so hopefully we'll be able to get through this because it's even turning off and stuff you guys so anyway, and here's the, I used the, um, and I twisted it. And after I did that, you guys, I did add some glossy, I kind of slid it over some and I added glossy accents right underneath the body. And then I slid the, the body back in place. That way it wouldn't move around because here in Florida, it's so hot that if I send these anywhere and with the heat, you know, the body might come off. It won't fall off because it's wired in between the body, but it wouldn't look very nice. So I use glossy accents. And then here's that little uh, flourish that I use to mimic the flight of the butterfly. So that's what I did on the bottom. And that's all I did. And I did these in this color. And then I said, you know what? I'm going to work in two different pattern papers. That way when I get done with done one, I'll have um, another set in another type of uh, paper. So here is the other ones that I created. And I only have two of them done because I only had the blue one done, you guys. And I left this one finished so I can share it with you. And while I was doing my video it uh, turned off then when i was looking at it it was upside down and you know youtube doesn't give us the option to turn them around anymore so i had to delete it you guys and this was already the second try i had tried it with the black ones and then i tried it with these and i thought no i give up but i do want to show you how you can see the embossing on the butterfly it's raised it's so pretty you guys that die set if you don't have it and you like butterflies it's really pretty now I'm going to move these out of the way because I do have a um, a little a small haul. I have a small haul. Oh, and for the body of the butterflies, you guys, I used for the blue one. I used these here, and I picked these up at Joann's. Uh, but these are six o beads. I mean, they're eight o beads, you guys. A six o I think would be too big. So an eight o is the perfect size. 
You know, it's an, an in-between size. Uh, you know, an 11-0 would be too small. A 6-0 would be too big. An 8-0 is about ripe. So, um, anyway, let me share the little haul that I have um, from the Dollar General, you guys. I normally don't find anything for crafting at the uh, at Dollar General, but I did today. I went through their little Christmas aisle, and uh, and I found some stickers. Look at these guys. And these are puffy, you guys, and they almost feel like plastic, but they have foiling on them, guys. It's the snow, you know, it's got the snowflakes and the reindeer. And I thought these would make beautiful cards. And then I found the Santa. Look at Santa. I want to mess up my butterflies. Look at the Santa, you guys. It's really pretty. So these are stickers. And then I found the snowflakes. And these are, like I said, they're puffy. They're not flat. Here's another reindeer. These are a dollar, you guys. I can get two cards out of one of these. And then I found the snowman. Look at that, how pretty they are. I love the holographic outline that they have. So I thought, you know, I found a couple of these, a couple of the reindeer. If I see another general, Dollar General, I will stop because I want to gift some of these. So these are some of the great finds. And then I found... Look at these, you guys. Look at these puffy stickers for a dollar, you guys. Look at how pretty these are. They're kind of rustic, but I like them. And then here's the other one. Look at that. Aren't they pretty? Let me make sure I showed you this one all the way. See this Santa sleigh? The joy. I love the joy up there. They're really pretty, guys. And they only had one of each. I wish they would have had more because... I definitely would have bought them. And then I bought these uh, button pins. And I thought these would go great on a rosette or a loaded envelope or something, you guys. And it it's just has the Santa and the snowman. And they had only had two of these. So I picked up two. That way I can share. And then they had this, this lamp, you guys. Here's the image right there. It's like a wall lamp. It's battery operated and it's made of this. This looks some kind of mesh ribbon or something. But look at the snowman on the bottom, you guys. I thought if I don't use it the way it's supposed to, this would make a great card. So I picked this up. This was $4, you guys. But I think it's well worth it. It's really, really pretty. And this is the only one they had that I liked. I didn't find any more. Or I would have picked up some. And then there's one more thing that I did pick up. I picked up some um, some of these light-up bracelets. And I have Santa, a reindeer, the couple of snowmen. And they only had one ginger, you guys. But look at these. They light up. Well, oh, don't tell me she doesn't work. She doesn't work. No, nope, that one doesn't work either. I wonder why. Well, I'm going to have to take those back to the store. Or not. You know, they're kind of cute to put on something. I might take those back because they don't work. Let's see. Here. See, guys? How cute those are? That one works. Oh, let's turn you off. That one works. This one works, too. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I thought these would be great on some wands or some loaded envelopes. That one works. <laughs> it doesn't work either. It doesn't work either, you guys. Just try me. Try me, and if I feel like it, I'll work. Uh, it looks like it wants to work. There it goes. Maybe when I take them out of the package. But that's what I picked up, guys. That's all I picked up. And I did pick up these little copper uh, tea light candles in the copper color because I thought they were, or rose gold. I thought they were really pretty. It might be more of a coppery than a rose gold. And I also picked up these pens. Look at these scented pens. I don't know how long they're going to last, but the scents are orange, berry, and apple scent. I thought these were super cute. Three for a buck. You can't beat it. That's all I wanted to share with you guys, but mostly I wanted to share my project, and I was having trouble doing that, um, and then I got something in the mail, you guys. I got the Fiskars paper crimper because I didn't have one, and I wanted to try those chip 
bags that everybody's doing. So I decided to get one before they're discontinued and then I won't be able to find one. So I just, I just wanted to share this with you guys because I think that these are really, really pretty. I think you guys should try it and maybe when I get a new phone or if I take out my camera, uh, I'll be able to share the process with you. But, you know, it's pretty so it's so easy to put together, you guys. It took no effort at all. And uh, I pretty much explained really everything to you. And then, of course, you're going to need a pair of round nose pliers, something like this, to make that little loop right here on the antennas on the butterfly. But that's about it, you guys. That's all I did to it. I used this. I used a little pair of wire cutters and a little four and a half inch strip of, of wire. And the wire comes in different colors, you guys, at Michael's Hobby Lobby, anywhere. You can find a variety pack in different colors. But I absolutely love the way these turn out. Thanks for watching, you guys. I hope everyone's having a great day and God bless. Bye.